we will be dealing with will be on a subject that is near to everyone's heart, that is uh, questionable, that we have question marks, we want to know about it, and uh, uh, yes, and we want to know why and how come we have these things. And the name of the lesson for today is called Enemies. All right, let's pray. Father, we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, for your goodness, your grace, for your mercy, for your help. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you and bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you speak to us about our enemies, what to do in the situation, how to react, and how to treat them, Father God. And, Lord, we're thankful that we can look to you for when our enemies are surrounding us and God has cut off the past, they got us around us, they got us cornered, they got us boxed in, they got us behind the eight ball. But thank you, God, we can call upon you, and you will come and deliver us from all our enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. Our introductory scripture will be Psalms 37, 40. And it says, The Lord helps those and takes them out of trouble. He takes them away from sinful, the sinful, and saves them because they go to him for a safe place. That's it. Like the Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Uh, we look unto the hills which come of our help. Our help comes from the Lord. He says, call upon me and I'll show you great and mighty things that you do not know. The Lord says for us to... Uh, Order affairs are right, and he will show us his salvation. So the Lord has got a plan for us. It's a plan to go forward, amen. It is a plan that he will bless us in spite of our enemies, amen. I like what one man, he uh, had wrote a paraphrase to Psalms 23, and the one I really liked out of the way that he presented it, he said, even before my enemies, he touches me, and blesses me and i think wow that's awesome i like that yep while the enemies are around us while the host of evil is sneering and laughing and mocking us god touches us and blesses us right in front of them to watch their mouths go right because god doing it amen god doing it hallelujah thank you lord our second one today deuteronomy 28 verse 7 the lord will cause you to win battles against those who fight against you they will come against you one way and run from you seven ways. That's it. The Lord is going to cause you to have victorious. What father stands by and allows his children to get beat up by bullies? None, right? None of them stand by. Every father gets out there and fights for his little ones. And yes, God fights for his little ones. And if you're in Christ, you're one of his little ones, amen, children of God, sons and daughters of the Most High God who will fight your battles. All right, praise God. In Deuteronomy 20, verse 4, it says, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will fight for you against those who hate you, and he will save you. What a wonderful God we got, amen. He goes with us. Hallelujah. The Bible says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. Matthew 28, verse 20. So if God never leaves us and nor forsakes us, that means he goes with you. Amen. He is the one who goes with you. Amen. And he will fight for you against those who hate you and will save you. That's what our God is a rescuing God. He says in Isaiah 49, 1, Behold, the hand of the Lord is not shortened, that it cannot save, and neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. And also Peter wrote about the same way, but this is the way he put it. He said, the lies of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their heart's cry. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He will fight against those who hate you. Amen. Remember in uh, Psalms 24, it says, who is... The, the king of glory. And he says, the Lord, the Lord of hosts is a king of glory and he's mighty and strong in battle. Hallelujah. We, got, we can't lose with our God. Amen. He is that good. Hallelujah. Listen to this. In, Deuter in Exodus 15, 6, it says, O Lord, your right hand is great in power. O Lord, you fight. Your right hand destroys those who hate you. Amen. 
God is mighty in battle, mighty in power, cannot be defeated. So therefore we rejoice because our God causes us to win. Our God will stick up for us. Our God will beat down them devils, beat down them bullies, beat down those haters. Amen. He said he would. Hallelujah. When we trust in him. Hallelujah. Listen to Psalm 60, verse 12. With God's help, we will all do well. There it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because of the help of the Lord, I will do well. No matter what the fight is, no matter what the hassle, the argument is, Father, God is going to help us. Amen. Father, God is going to help us, and we will do well. He will break, un break his feet of those who fight against us. Yes, the Lord will cause them that they have taken their stand upon their so-called foundation. The Lord will defeat them all. Amen. He will break their feet. Listen to Isaiah 54, 17. No tool that is made to fight against you will do well. That's it. No weapon will prosper. No tool will do. No uh, uh, batch of uh, circumstances. No ugly words. No lies and accusations will do well against you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And you will prove wrong every tongue that says you are guilty. This is the gift to the servants of the Lord. I will take away their guilt and make them right, says the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. Yes, God is good. He is going to destroy those who try to destroy us. Psalms 118, verse 7 says, The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will watch those lose who fight against me. That's right. You know, in, uh, in wrestling, yeah, we know what, uh, you know, TV wrestling's fake, but there is a, a thing there, a good principle there to remember. When you're getting beat down and you need to get away from those guys, you get over and you manage to get to the your corner, you tag the other guy who jumps over the ropes and comes in and whoops everybody. You know, we know it's scripted, but the good point to know is that you can hang, you can turn it over to Jesus and he will fight for you. Amen? That's what the Lord says. So tag team your partner. He's your tag team partner. Tag him. Tag his hand. Amen. And let him fight the battle. <coughs> As the scripture says, and cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. That's what a good God is. Hallelujah. That's what he can do. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. He is my helper. I will watch those lose who fight against me. When you hand it over to the Lord, because he's with you, you're going to win. Amen. Be encouraged today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Listen to that. The same principle is in, in Luke 1, verse 74. He promised that he would, we would be saved from those who hate us and that we might worship him without being afraid. Yep. We're going to worship him without being afraid, regardless. Right? But he promised that we'd be saved from them to hate us. That's what the Word of God says. So rejoice, be sitting with glad. There ain't no devil in hell, amen, inside of hell, outside of hell, wherever that can separate us from the love of God, that can beat us down and keep us from being rescued by the hand of our mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's it. Look at Psalms 27, verse 5 and 6. For in the day of trouble, he will keep us safe in his holy tent. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be lifted up above all those around me who hate me. I will give gifts to the holy tent with a loud voice of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. For in the day of trouble, what's he going to do? He's going to keep us safe in his tent, in his tabernacle. All right. In the secret place of his tent. He will hide me. That's it. God will hide me from all those. He said he'll put me inside the cleft of the rock. Amen. And he'll pass on by. But when the Lord passes on by, amen, he said, ain't nobody going to get to you. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And it says there, he will set me high upon a rock. Amen. The scripture says in Psalm 63, it says, when I am overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that's higher than I. And I picture that. When you cry out and give it all to God, that he'll lift you above the circumstances and set you a high upon a rock and let you look down at all the troubles 
and all the misery that he brought you out of. Amen. That's what God will do for you. And he'll give you peace and he'll give you love and he'll fill your heart with joy. And you'll be rejoicing and singing. And it won't bother you. Let them talk. Ha <laughs> ha, let them talk. Let them curse at me. Who cares? I've got God on my side and I'm going to make it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Then my head will be lifted up above all those that hate me. I will give gifts in this holy tent with a loud voice of joy. I will sing. Yes, I will keep sing praises to the Lord. That's right. You get so happy, you're going to even want to give offerings. What? Yeah, I can hear and see some of you tightwads out there balking at that. But hey, when you're happy and God is doing wonderful things for you, you don't care. You give gifts unto the Lord your God. Amen. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, with a loud voice of joy, I will sing. Yeah, I will sing praises to my God. Yeah, the people of God are singing and rejoicing because the devil's been defeated and God is exalted and God has beaten down your enemy. He said, I'll go with you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Amen. He's going to get us through them rough times. Hallelujah. And here's our, our last one for this morning. It says, when the ways of a man are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even those who hate him to be at peace with him. That's right. Those that hate you. You are walking right and serving God and doing your best. He says, God says you'll be blessed and he'll take care of the rest and even your enemies will shut their mouths and won't say anything to you about you. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we love you today. We thank you for this lesson on enemies, Lord. We're giving you the praise, the honor, the glory. We know who to look to, Father God, in a time of storm. In the time of roughness and despair, in the time, Father God, who to look to when someone dies in our family or we lose a lost loved one, or even when we lose a pet, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we know who to look to, God, because you're our strength and our joy, and you, God, you said you would fight our battles. But the scripture says in Psalms 34, <laughs> excuse me, many of the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. So thank you, God, for your delivering power, your keeping power, your saving power. We thank you, Father God, for this day in Jesus' name. Now, uh, I had about, I found about 25 scriptures here on, on dealing with uh, this subject of fear and help from the Lord. So we're going to uh, finish uh, part two tomorrow. Amen. And uh, I just want to say if you enjoy this program here, you can watch more of these sermons by Pastor Jerome Weymouth and uh, uh, Pastor Josie Wayne here on the House of Praise Family Church Facebook page or on Gospel TV Network on the YouTube channel. Look for Jerome Wayman and you'll find, you'll find me there smiling and waiting to hear from you. All right, a big God bless you today. Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful week in the Lord. Amen.